Hey boys, welcome back to some more Kalen Ponga career mode. It is game three of the State of Origin series, and it is a decider. So, yeah, I'm making this video after game two in real life. So I'm I'm heartbroken. I'm devastated. All the uh, all the adjectives there, but um, I'm I'm playing this to try <laughs> to try and rewrite the history books um, on the game. So yeah. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk too much about the the game because obviously when I upload this, it won't be, you know, in line with the with the real life game. But uh, all I can say is I, you know, disappointed. I thought Queen it was a good game. It was a good game. Um, I hate Gus Gould with a passion. Just his commentary, just just I it's just so infuriating. My God, I you know I understand bias, but my God. <laughs> oh, I'm not even going to get into it, but uh, let's let's just focus on the game here. I'm, I'm obviously I'm a little emotional about the game, so <laughs> let's let's just focus on uh, on Kalen Ponga. He had an excellent game. Good lord, Kalen Ponga is actually the greatest player of all time. <laughs> He's so good. I can't. I, what do you even say? Like, I I said I wasn't going to talk about the game, but I mean we just got the the little. Uh, introductions here, which is nice. We got the the uh, the anthem and all the the tunnel walkouts. Obviously, a bit of a different team. Uh, big Corey Oates. I I'd love to see Corey Oates in the in the team. It's a little hard to fit in. I mean, we do have a lot of outside backs, so it is a bit tricky. But good lord, Corey Oates is a he's a solid player. So yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I would sort of just like him to shift to the forwards and and uh, and get in the get in the middle. He's just such a strong carrier. But uh, yeah, we're underway here. Um, talking quickly about Ponga in that game, just his defense was the thing that stood out for me as uh, James Tedesco breaking tackles left and right here, gets the offload away. So this is already danger signs. Uh, first set of six of the game, and they're already almost inside the 20-meter line. With Tedesco just burning defenders, so that's uh, signs. Signs not good. I'll, I'll be honest, a little, a little uh, ominous. But uh, we have defended so far. Fifth tackle. It's going to be uh, spread out to Cleary, I think, to put up a or Townsend actually to put up the kick. And uh, who is that? Dane Gagai. I think it's Gagai. He just took it on the full and uh, made good ground. So all of a sudden, our set of six, and uh, we're sort of back to back here. As a good little inside play. Puts in the chip and chase. Kalen Ponga. That's what we like to see. Just what an absolute monster. The step. The chip. The chase. Tedesco gets spun around. Aaron Woods is no. He's never going to get there. Thank God he didn't. And uh, what a try. Cameron Smith would have liked to see him out in, uh, in Queensland this year. But uh, unfortunately not to be. As uh, he does convert to make it 6-0. And uh, a good start. I mean, we, we sort of, we're under the pump early as, uh, again, Tedesco just, uh, he's, uh, he's a menace. He gets the pass out. What? <laughs> Croker puts in the kick. And Mansour is going to score a, an amazing try. Uh, they sort of did it the hard way, but good Lord, what a, what a try that is. Um, Tedesco was just burning and just, just cutting our forwards up to ribbons. Um I, I was trying to just hold off and hold off, and then he got the he got the offload, or did he get the pass or offload? I, don't, I don't, can't even remember, but he got the pass away, and Croker put in the the grubber kick. It was a it was a brilliant kick. It was a good kick, no doubt. But um, yeah, so it's a it's an exciting start, exciting start. As Paul Gallen goes straight through, he turns us inside out as he gets the offload away, and this is this is ridiculous. The Blues are just playing with. Uh, Full of confidence. We are winning 6-4, though. So, I mean, we, we feel pretty good. We feel pretty good. I mean, the New South Wales have come out absolutely on fire with the pill. But, I mean, we're holding we're holding strong. Um, barely, but we're still holding strong here. As Maguire is going to scoop that one up and uh, make good ground. Good uh, good cover from the, the lock. And uh, 20, a bit over a quarter of the game gone. So, yeah, it's, it's, been, a, it's been a frantic... 20 odd minutes uh six for the score but yeah could have could have been a few more tries especially to to the blues as uh we get the ball back there to um anthony milford i think it is 
pinning the ears back, gets the pass back to us, brilliant play, we're going for the corner, Croker giving chase, he's going to get to us, we pass the ball back, and he's going to get bundled into touch, touching goal, what, oh my god, this is, what a, what a game, honestly, one of the most exciting games of Beer Pro I've ever been a part of, just, Everyone is just doing some good stuff in attack, especially defense. I mean, the defense will be pretty strong. Unfortunately, right here, well, unfortunately for us, unfortunate for the Blues, some uh, some weak defense on the big fella Papali, who, uh, again, I'm going to talk about this. It'll be in a video that will go up before this one about uh, the Origin game, but Papali is a guy that should definitely get more minutes, and he should be on the edge, but he, uh, he does barge his way over the top of uh, the halfback, I think, there, so it is, it is a barge over try, but I mean, one-on-one -on -one with a halfback, it does make sense in that case, um, so, yeah, 12-4 now, it's, you know, 12-4 to us, we will take that, um, going into half time, the Blues with a chance to, uh, to almost level it up, Wade Graham gets bundled over, and we hold out, so 12-4, yeah, we'll take that. That was that was a frantic first half of footy. I mean, we played really good in attack, but the uh, the Blues had plenty of chances as uh, we take the ball off the kickoff and just pin the ears back. Saw a hole up the middle there, just a bit lazy with uh, with the kickoff, which is a bit surprising. But uh, yeah, took full advantage. It's a great pass there to the who was that? Franco Lee, I think, out wide. Franco Lee, I don't, good lord. I don't so. You know, a few weird, weird selections for sure, but, you know, he's a, you know, he's good in attack, Branko Lee. His defense is probably not up to, up to par, but, you know, attack is, attack is there. As they go for a little, a little kick into the goal, bit of a, bit of a knock on, so. But again, the Blue is going to get a chance for an attacking kick. It's a pretty well placed kick too, as uh, Tedesco gets the bat down. Paul Gallen to the line, again held up, so. I mean, our defense has been rock solid, but again, the Blues on the attack, and it's going to be that man, Matt Pryor, I think, Pryor? Yeah, Pryor there, who made his debut uh, in real life, he's just going to make it, well, score a really soft try, that was, that was weak, that was weak defense, um, we were there in cover, but uh, that was, that was poor, that was very poor front line defense, he just, it looked like it, that, <laughs> It was very strange. It looked like the game just stopped the way he just bumped off, uh, bumped off the player. Just it looked like it was like a knock on or something like that. They just stopped the play, but um, yeah, just just so soft. As uh, an early kick here, and it's a, it's a good kick. I was actually ready for the early kick, but they kicked it like really well. Um, but the kick chase is not good. As uh, we're just gonna burn them here. Tedesco has got the good angle on us. Throw the dummy. As uh, we're just gonna take the tackle. I could have passed it, but. You know, take the tackle is probably the smart option there. We still have the two-point lead, so we don't have to be uh, silly. As uh, Again, we're going to get tackled on a fourth play here. I was looking to set up the outside man, but nothing was really on. So, taking the tackle, probably smart. As uh, fifth tackle this time. Going to look to uh, spread it out wide. I don't know why. Um, who was this? Morgan? I don't even know. I don't. I didn't really look at our team, honestly. But uh, the kick goes up. Great stuff there by um, who was that? Papali, I think it was. He got the take. He got the offload as well. But scramble, scramble was good from the Blues. And as you see here, a minute left, and uh, looks like we're going to get this game wrapped up. As big Coyotes makes a line break, and that should be the ball game. It should be a series win to Queensland. Unfortunately, not in real life, but on the game here, we are going to come up with the victory. 12-10, uh, you know, it was a back-and-forth game. It was it was end-to-end, -end frantic stuff. The second half was a little bit more of a slug. Um, as you see, a bit, of, a bit of mud and stuff, so it might maybe a bit wet conditions in the second half. Uh, so it slowed down a little bit, not as much attack, but the first half was full of um, really enterprising stuff, so... Got away with the win. It was it was excellent. You know, it makes up for a little bit of devastation. Not really. But uh, there we go, Thurston. Uh, not in the team, obviously, holding up the trophy there. The boys are happy. We're happy on our debut series win. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series. It's uh, It's been a lot of fun. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.